So adding observed water surfaces to the 2D model is something that's relatively new in RAS, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I'm working on a debris flow model here that actually happened, and we actually have some observed water surface elevations. And so I have a shape file with the general location of these observed water surfaces. So I'm just going to pull that shape file over here into RAS, and you can see that it comes in as a map layer. And so Kind of the most basic way to do this, the way we did this before the new feature, is I know that the uh, depth at this cross section is about 6.4 feet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this high water mark and I'm going to save that feature as a profile line. And uh, we'll get both of them, even though we're only going to look at one of them. And now if I come to my profile lines, if I right click on this and ask for depth, I will get a depth across that profile line. Um, now, it, it's a high water mark, so I care about the max. So instead of just kind of looking for the max, I'll come over here and press max. And you can see that my high water mark is, yeah, it's about 5.4-ish. Um, so I'm not quite high enough um, with my, when my actual depth was 6.2. And so that's kind of the way we used to do it. But now you can actually add observed high water marks to RAS. And so I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to come over here to the geometry, and I'm going to start editing. And I'm going to go down here to reference points. Reference points is essentially how we are going to add observed data. So I'm going to click on reference points, and I'm just going to zoom in here. And I'm going to drop my reference point here. And I'm just going to call that high water mark, HWM. OK, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to drop that there, and then I'm going to stop editing and save it. And now I'm going to close Mapper, and I'm going to open the Unsteady Flow data, and I'm going to come over to the fourth tab, Observe Data. Now you see there's lots of ways to assign observed data. Now in 2D, these have to be associated with some sort of reference feature. And so, you know, we can use the high watermarks data editor, um, or we can use the observe stage editor. I'm just going to use the observe stage editor. I'm going to go to edit, and you can see that now you can put observe data at any observed data location. And the observed data locations are by default the boundary condition lines, and then this reference point, the high watermark. And so I'll select that. And then what kind of data do we want? Well, you can put in DSS or you can type in a time series table, um, but we're going to go in and just put in a constant. And so I know that the elevation there is 6.4, and if I kind of do the math from the train, I know that it, the elevation is 693.4 feet. And that's it. I'm done. And I'm going to, I'm going to save. And now, in order to see this, I have to rerun the model. And so I'm going to rerun my model. This model takes less than a minute to run. And now, this is where people get a little confused, because you might expect that we would go back to Mapper to look at this. And you know, you can go back to Mapper. You could select depth, and you could right-click on this feature and plot the depth. But really, you're just plotting the depth in the cell there, and you're not getting the observed. Where this shows up is actually in the hydrograph editor. So if we open the hydrograph editor as if we were opening the hydrograph for a 1D model, we get the new and improved hydrograph editor. Thank you, Anton. And if you go into type, you'll notice that now there are hydrographs associated with your reference points. So if I select my reference point, what we see is we see the stage that RAS computed at that reference point. Um, at, it just puts it in the HDF5 output and then plots it to the hydrograph profile and your observed stage. And so you can go through, you can see that we're a little low here. We chose a concentration of about 26%, and I think that's a little low. And so we're going to increase that, maybe take a look at our viscosity. Um, but we actually are also only off by less than a foot, which given the big wood front of this uh, event, maybe is you know, not that far off. Uh, but that's how you use the observed water surface elevations or the observed data in the 2D editor. My name is Stanford Gibson. I'm the sediment transport specialist on the HC RAS team. A lot of the stuff that you see here was done by Anton Rodersiren and the rest of the RAS team. And this video was funded by the HHNC SET program.